Okay, so um, I came home from work today and the next clutch is starting to pip out of their eggs. Um, the mom was um, Jade, our lesser Enchi, and the boy, like I said in the last video, he was our Kiss Constrictor original snake that we produced here um, 2019. And he is a super inchy banana lesser. So really, 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 really fingers crossed that we got at least one bell in here. But either way, every all four of these is gonna be awesome. Um, there, she did have six. No, 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 there were seven. But three of the slug, three of them were slugs. So we discarded those. But anyway, this little guy He's already poked his head out and it looks like he's kind of stuck because he can't, he can't maneuver that. Oh, he poked himself back in. So we're going to cut that slit just a little bit more for him so he don't get his head stuck again. He tried to get out multiple times. Yeah, he cut several different slits. So, some of the possibilities here is obviously banana inchy, banana super inchy. Will you hold that, please? I mean, aside from the bells. And if I'm to guess here, I don't see lesser, but I definitely see banana. Well, I mean, it could be a banana lesser. It could be a banana lesser, maybe. He is sweet. That could be um, identical to um, Fujin, banana lesser Enchi. But wasn't he lighter as a baby? Um, I don't really remember. Not Ermac, Fujin. Ermac is the dad. Fujin is identical, only he only has one copy of Enchi. Oh. Let's see what's in this guy. Keep in mind, we have been trying to make bells for three years and missed every year. So the first bell that I see, I am keeping male or female. Oh no. It's not a bell. Yeah, I see a pattern. But this might be identical to Fujin. Yeah, because I remember he, not, not Fujin, yeah. but Ermac. Yeah, he looked really light. Like yeah. That. So that could be another super entry banana lesser. Could be. Two more chances. Not looking too good. What do you mean? We got a 50-50 chance in here. There it is. Oh, there finally. it is. Whoop, whoop. The almighty bell has been rung here at Kiss Constrictors. Was there a possibility of a black or just a blue? Not this one. I don't want to cut it too much because I'm just going to let them come out on their own. But shine the light on there. Now, this is definitely going to be a bell inchy because with uh, Ermac being a super inchy, everything is getting the inchy gene. So he's got at least the two lessers and an inchy. Now, I don't know if when you hit the bell, if it overpowers banana and lesser i don't know if there could be all five genes and the bell just is the only one that shows i have to do some research on that but if anybody that's watching this knows comment in the in the comment section or hit me up on uh, facebook or instagram and let me know if you know um if that's going to overpower if the bell overpowers everything else I don't know why I said lesser. I just met banana. You used to look really good. Mm-hmm.
This is an awesome clutch. Well, you still got one more. I know. I don't want to open it because then it's going to be over. <laughs> I wonder if the three, um, if they weren't slugs, what they would have been. So what do you think? I think we got another bill. Possibly. What if? Look how big that egg is. It's giant. What if? Could be. <laughs> twin <laughs> bells. <laughs> That's a lot of wishful thinking. Does them, like being twins, does that mean you like sell it for more? Or is it just? No. I don't want to peek inside, Jenna. Well, you already got it open. How do you not see? Oh, not a bell. What is that? Oh. He kind of looks like, um, the old spank. I was looking at um, all the possibilities on Morph Market today, the genetic creator, mm -hmm. and I seen this one, but I can't remember what it was. This one is incredible looking too. Well, I can't say that I'm disappointed because I definitely got the one bell. I was hoping for two but I cannot complain out of four eggs. We got, we got one and that's, that's fantastic. And the other three are just amazing looking too. Um, Josh, if you're gonna watch this, um, I know you were saying that you wanted um, something really yellow. So it looks like this one or this one maybe. I don't know, all three of them are gonna be yellow. Just they're gonna change a little bit when they come out and when they shed. Um, but yeah, these these are all amazing. I'm not selling this white one. Anybody that's watching this one is not up for grabs. Um, that's our very first. <laughs> that's our very first uh, bell. So um, we're gonna have to come up with a really cool name for our first. Smoke. I was gonna save that for if we had a um a gray matter or something. You think we're gonna get a gray matter? We might, um, if uh, Cinderella ever lays her eggs. If the banana gene is not overpowered by the bell, and the bell is just gonna be visual by itself, then the bell should be female. Guessing, thinking. I mean, I'm thinking that's the case. But. I feel like they're gonna come out pretty quick. That, just seeing the bell in there, it's huge. Yeah. Like, it hardly fits in the egg. Yeah, it's amazing how they can fit so much body in such a tiny little space. Well, our next um, egg cutting is scheduled for 8-8, um, eight, eight, which that's 60 days, so five days from that would be eight, three. So somewhere around eight, three, the next, the next three could be um, Pippin. And that is a pastel het pied bred to a banana vanilla het pied. So keeping with the odds we just collected on this clutch, hopefully the odds are in our favor for the next one as well and we get a banana pied or any visual pie at all, for that matter, would be awesome. But a banana pie would be killer. How many eggs were in there? Three. Anyway, that's it for right now. Thanks for watching, you guys, and stay tuned. Um, the next, I think what we're gonna, we might include it in this video, but we're gonna, um, if the babies from the last, the seven that just hatched, if they shed, then we'll pull up the, the genetic wizard on the computer and we'll sit down in front of the computer and look at um, all of the possibilities that we could have hatched and then try to compare them to what we did hatch and see if we can help or see if we can identify them all together and see if you guys agree with what we come up with. All right, thanks for watching. I came across this video on Facebook and I just thought it was cool. So I was gonna include it in this video. It kind of combines two of the most, two of my most favorite things. Obviously reptiles and scuba diving. I mean, look at the size of this anaconda. 
Honestly, I don't know how I would feel if I was scuba diving and I came across this monster underwater. I think initially I would be uh, kind of freaking out a little bit. But, I mean, it looks like he's just really chill. He's just swimming along. He's not trying to rapidly escape from the divers. He's just checking them out, checking out their camera. He's letting, letting them check him out or her. I think I would probably be like these divers. Initially, I would I would kind of be a little bit apprehensive, but then when I saw how relaxed he was, I'd be like, oh, this is awesome, let's check him out. Also, I didn't know that um, they flick their tongue underwater. So obviously they can still taste underwater too. He's trying to figure out what's food and what's not food. I was really surprised how um, crystal clear this water is too in this river. And deep. Anyway, so I did um, cut some, uh, the last clutch of eggs. Um, I post a little bit of an update on, on that. Um, but right now I'm just sitting here with Lily. She, um, they shed differently than snakes. It just comes off like a sunburn, peels in big, big sheets. So I'm sitting here helping her peel. Uh, sorry about the kind of hodgepodge of uh, content there. Jump from uh, snake eggs to anacondas in the river and then a tegu shedding its skin. I, I'm apologizing in advance for um, the lack of content lately and there's a lot of things that have happened since but I kind of explained a little bit in there I lost my voice almost Almost for a whole two weeks I had to take off work and everything because I couldn't I couldn't even talk on the radio Nobody could understand me um, I got COVID tested. I, I mean, obviously I already had COVID once but I went and got tested again because I had a really bad cough and um, my voice was completely gone, but it wasn't it wasn't COVID. So um, I guess it was just a cold. Those still exist, evidently. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna. This is just, I'm just putting this out because it was a lot of content that uh, didn't get put out yet. So I'll put this one out, and then hopefully real soon I'll give you guys an update on everything. I will tell you there is some bad news um, regarding a couple of the babies, um, but I'll share that in the next video. Um, we'll keep this one on the up and up on the on the on the bright side. All right, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching my videos. Every time I speak to somebody I haven't spoken with in a while, it amazes me that people will tell me that <laughs> that they. Uh, routinely watch our videos there's just a lot of friends and family that I didn't didn't really think would uh, to care care to watch uh, reptile related videos but I guess they're kind of just watching to see my family updates and stuff so that is really cool um, I appreciate everybody watching I know I'm not like uh, you know the most entertaining youtuber um, but then again I'm not trying to make millions off of YouTube or nothing either I'm just doing a, a video diary so that one day when I'm dead and gone my kids can uh, have something to remember me and they can go back and look and see all the fun stuff we did together and how sometimes I'm just a goofball so anyway that's what this is all about um, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one thanks bye